Well, hello everybody and happy Thursday. It is December 1st. I cannot believe it is December already. Where has this year gone? It's crazy, crazy, crazy. This is Lisa Freeman from StampingWithLisa.com coming to you live. And like I said, it's Thursday, December 1st, 2022 at 7 p.m. Eastern time. So if you are in that time period, you are on the live. Otherwise, you're watching the replay, and um, if you're watching the live, it should have a little red live button on it, and you should be able to chat, and I see there are lots of girls on here tonight. Hello, Spice Girl, and Cynthia, and Lynn, and Diana, Terry, Deborah, Cynthia, oh, I already said Cynthia, Kay, let's see, who am I missing? Sherry, Laura, Annie. How is everybody doing tonight? It is freezing here. I just checked the temperature. It's 42 degrees in Chesapeake, Virginia. A little bit chilly. <laughs> it was beautiful today. It didn't seem that cold out um, until I walked outside and then I was like, oh, burr. I need a jacket because it was so sunny and beautiful, but um, it was a little chilly. I just went out and got my hair done today. Got my hair did. Um, <laughs> it always... It always looks good, you know, right when they do it, and then you get home and mess with it. And, um, I was going to go on live tonight because I thought, oh, my hair will be good and everything, but I messed it up. <laughs> so, I'm not going to show myself today. <laughs> but anyway, I have a funny story to tell you, and I have a joke. It's kind of a dirty a joke, so no kids are allowed in the room. <laughs> Oh, Therese, it's only 28 where you are. Hello, Louise, just joining from Ontario, Canada. How are you doing? Nancy, Brenda, how is everybody? Irene, Starla's watching. All right, Starla's going to be doing the tutorial tonight, so I have to remember to go slow and keep it straight. Hey, Sandy, how are you, girl? My friend Sandy in my downline, she's on here tonight. She is, um, she used to live here and now lives in Missouri and near St. Louis, kind of. And uh, I love her to death. So glad you're watching, Sandy. Let's see. We have, oh my gosh, who is Vicky in Arizona? It has 72 degrees. Are you near uh, Spice Girl in, where is it? Yuma, Yuma, Arizona? I think Spice Girl lives. I always forget. I want to go to Arizona, though, in the middle of the winter when it's warm. <laughs> hey, kitty cat. Um, guess you better plug your ears since no kids laugh. <laughs> it's not really that dirty. <laughs> it's just funny. <laughs> oh, Cam says 16 degrees. All right, so I wanted to do a vintage card tonight. So this is an old-fashioned Christmas card. I was um, looking for ideas online. Um, I wanted to use this stamp set. I think I got a red spot on there. And I was just looking for different ideas and I really didn't find too many um, that were kind of like old fashioned looking, but I did find some other cards and most of them used crumb cake. So I figured I would just use crumb cake and stamp my um, wreath on crumb cake and then kind of make it a little bit sponged around the edges so it kind of looks old. I really wish we had that paper that we used to have a long time ago. The one that was um, like the music sheets. It kind of looked like from a hymn book. Um, I think that would have really gone well in the background. And I searched through my paper trying to find something that would look good. But we don't really have any designer paper that's got words on it. So um, I found this one in the textured chic or text. I don't know if it's texture with a D or not. Texture chic paper. Um, so this is the one that I'm using. Uh, I tried out the one that's in the poinsettia pack and I almost used that one, but I think this one looks better. So it kind of matched the colors better. And I just picked out some scraps. I had some scraps of cherry cobbler and some scraps of evening evergreen and kind of just threw that together. So I love to do that when I'm making cards. I just pick out my scrap bag that has all the scraps of Pretty much every color I have and I just pick out pieces that I think would fit in there pretty well so this was just one inch um, strips I this was a one and a half inch strip 
and I kind of just pulled out different packs to see what would go well with this color um, group. So that's how I came up with this idea. So there's the card straight so you can take a picture, Starla. And um, also I wanted to tell you guys, today is the first day of the humongous retiring sale. So I woke up at three o'clock this morning, not um, on purpose, but I had to go to the bathroom and I said, well, the sale started at two o'clock in the morning and I wasn't gonna stay up for it and I really wasn't planning on getting up that early. But I said, well, as long as I'm up, I might as well just turn the light on and start doing my order. So I spent about an hour at three o'clock this morning um, going through, I had my list ready for the retiring sale which wasn't that many. I only had like 10 things I was going to get. But then I saw the clearance rack and it was seven pages of stuff. And I mean, I went bonkers and I spent way too much money on the clearance rack. This was probably the best clearance rack I've ever seen. And it is literally seven pages of stuff. I don't know how many pages are left, but this morning at three o'clock, there were seven pages of stuff. And they had cardstock, they had um, ribbon, card kits, um, a lot of dyes, um, what else, gems, um, the bumblebees, I got a ton of bumblebees, and I got some card kits, and a lot of designer paper, really cheap. And I think the most expensive thing I bought was $4 and 60 cents or four dollars and 80 cents i didn't spend over five dollars on anything so but it all adds up when you're buying multiples of it because i think what i'm going to do is make up some more of those boxes since i figured maybe i got a lot of stuff that you guys didn't get because i got up so early so i think i'm going to make some more of those big boxes you know the mystery boxes and throw a bunch of stuff in there because there's some awesome stuff that i got on sale so anyway, I wanted to tell you that. So don't forget, if you haven't seen the retiring list, you can go back to my video. It's from about a week ago that shows everything that is on sale, what's retiring, how much it is um, if it's on sale. And I did get some of these. Oh, these flat Jingle Bell trinkets sold out. I got 30 packs of snowflakes. <laughs> they were only $2 and they are still available. I checked about an hour ago, the snowflakes are still available for $2 a pack, which is a humongous bargain. Also, I wanted to show you, guess what? Came in the mail yesterday. I got my mini catalog and celebration, and I'm so excited. I ordered my pre-order today for that too, because if you're a demonstrator, you can order out of this a month ahead of time. So we all got to order out of this ahead of time today. And let me tell you, I broke the bank on that. So my credit card bill is going to be extremely high this month because between the um, clearance rack and this, let me just tell you, I got, mm, I think, 13 free celebration items today. And I want to show this to you so bad because there's this paper in here that is to die for. And I got six packs of that. So if you are a demonstrator... You should be getting this in the mail any day now if you haven't gotten yours yet. And you can pre-order out of it um, pretty much anything you want. And if you're not a demonstrator and you're one of my customers, you should be getting it in about two weeks. I also got some happy mail. So happy mail. This one is from Amy Marr. So Amy sent me this pretty um, fall card. I thought it was so cute. And I love the colors on here and a long note so thank you amy that was really really sweet i love 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 getting happy mail so anytime you guys want to send me a card just drop it in the mail i love it all right so that's all my chit chat for today now oh we're using this stamp set today and i don't know i i can't remember if this is retiring or not hold on let me look real quick cottage wreaths i don't remember what page it's on I can't remember if it's retiring. I hope not because I love it. But it probably is because I love it. Hold on. It's in here somewhere. I'm sure it's retiring. Anybody know what page it's on? Oh, here it is. Staying! <gasps> it's staying. I'm so excited. Okay. 
Cottage Wreath is staying. Yay! Okay, so if you don't have it, make sure you order that because it's awesome. Love it, love it, love it. All right, so this is the new kit. So anybody that ordered today, which there was a ton of you guys that ordered, and thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you a million times for all the orders. I woke up because after I went back to sleep at like four or something, then I woke back up about eight o'clock and looked at my emails and I had tons of emails. I mean, tons of orders. So I was so excited. I was like, yes, yes, yes. It's an awesome day. So thanks everybody for all the orders. Oh, kitty cat, you don't have your shit. $12 for dyes and eight packs of snowflakes, says Spice Girl. Great sale. Yes, it is a great sale. So if you have not checked it out, definitely go to the Stampin' Up! website or my website. Click on the shopping button. And then you just click on sales and um, specials and it's under that. So we're using this stamp set today. And this card is pretty easy. So that's why we're going to do three of them. So I don't think I told you that before. So this is the new kit. So if you order this month from December 1st through 15th, you're going to get this kit. And you know what I forgot to bring is the gems. And wait a minute, I think I have a pack in here. We're gonna do the rhinestones, which I have kind of a pack. This is not the whole pack, but, oh, these are dusty. All right, so we're getting these. <laughs> I'm embarrassed to show these because they're so dusty. Um, I forgot to bring a new pack with me. I don't have a new pack. But it's gonna be the regular rhinestones that you get for free if your order is over $100. So this is the card kit, three sets of this, and um, a pack of the rhinestones if your order's over $100. I can't believe I forgot to bring that. Um, okay, so here's what you need. You need three pieces of crumb cake. If you wanna make three, we're doing three tonight because I wanted to show you the whole card kit that you get. So we'll do all three cards. So you'll be getting this exact same thing in your kit plus the ribbon. So three five and a half by eight and a half crumb cake, three vanilla five and a quarter by four, three of the soft suede um, five and a quarter by four, three of the crumb cake two and three quarters by two and three quarters. This has seven pieces to it. So it's a lot of cutting. So I do all the cutting for you. This is exactly what you're gonna get in your kit if you have an order over $50. So all of you guys that ordered already, that was $50 and use the host code, you'll be getting this kit in a couple weeks because um, I wait until the end of the time period. So all the orders from the today through the 15th, I wait till I get all of them, then I cut all the paper and make all the packets and then I mail them out. So if you order today, it's not gonna go out till after the 15th. Um, one and a half by three evening evergreen and four by one cherry cobbler. I'm running out of room here. Hold on. Let's see if I can squish this all in here so we get it all together. Okay. So hopefully you guys can get a screenshot of that. So that's everything that you need. And if you place the order, I'll be sending you this. Everything's crooked. I'm trying to get it all straight. Okay, there you go. <laughs> all right, so everybody take a screenshot of that. And that's what you need. So if you only want to make one of these, just, just do one of everything. It's seven pieces total, plus the ribbon. And I don't know if you can see this. I think you can. I did some spanking today. So instead of shimmer spray, I did some spanking of Stella. So we have some shimmer on here. I can see it, so I hope you can too. It's all sparkly. So that is a really cool effect there. Oops, and you know what? Oh, I brought it, Never mind. I thought I forgot my Wink of Stella. All right, so let's take all these off. So after I got up the second time today, I laid in bed and checked my email and all that stuff. Then I got up to go eat breakfast and luckily, I put on slippers when I get up to go anywhere because most of my house, except for the bedrooms, is um, that, what is it called? Luxury vinyl planks. It looks like, uh, kind of looks like this thing right here. It's kind of gray and uh, 
it's like barn wood looking, you know, that's what my floor looks like on the, in the, most of the whole house. So I had my slippers on and I was walking to the kitchen and I wasn't looking where I was going. And all of a sudden I just was like, walk, 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 crunch, walk. And I said, oh gosh, something just crunched under my foot. Thank goodness I had slippers on because it was a giant bug. <laughs> it was dead, but I stepped on it and squished it. And now it was really dead. <laughs> it was so gross. <laughs> the exterminator came like a week ago. And every time the exterminator comes within a few days, like I find dead bugs all over the house. Not, not all over the house, but usually like every couple days I'll find a dead bug. So... I was just like so disgusted. Ugh, just crushed me out. I don't, I don't like bugs at all. So anyway, that was how my morning started. All right, we're going to be stamping on our small crumb cake piece and our vanilla piece. So I don't think we need scrap paper because I think most everything is going to fit. So we're going to start with our wreath. And this is the one that has the leaves on it. We have two. We have one with the leaves and one with the like twigs. So the leafy one is gonna be in soft succulent. And before I start, I wanna read the comments. Um, oh, Starla says the mini catalog is where she went crazy. Hey, Robin. Let's see, let me scroll back and read comments. Oh, Spice Girl says it was 78 here. Perfect Yuma weather. Okay, stop bragging. Um, Melanie says, Spice Girl and I have used the heck out of Cottage Wreath. Did you guys know each other before my videos or did you meet on here and realize that you live near each other? I always wondered that because I know you're friends now. And yes, Sandy's in Wentzville, Missouri. So if any of you guys are near Wentzville, Missouri, you'll have to hook up with my downline Sandy because I'm sure she's always looking for new people to stamp with. Maybe she could get a group of stamping demonstrators getting together. That's what I do with some of my girls here. We get together once a month and stamp and come up with ideas and do shoebox swap. Um, let's see. Snow tomorrow. Oh, I do not want any snow. Embossing folder with the music. Yeah, I tried to use the embossing folder with the music, but it wasn't the same. I did that, and I did it with the... Um, but I really wanted like black print, you know, like uh, book print. And uh, I thought about getting like a dictionary or something like that, but I really wanted like a, a hymnal look. So, um, oh, Terry says there was only five pages of clearance when she got up. Everything you wanted was sold out before the sale. Well, I got everything. Nothing was sold out when I got up at three o'clock, but, um, and then I went back and ordered more stuff this afternoon. So everything I wanted this afternoon was still there. I did get up. I didn't get up that order to early. I didn't get up that early to order. I got up early to go to the bathroom. And I said, well, since I'm up, I might as well go ahead and order. <laughs> um, let's see. Echoed my purchase. Post person. I know it. Actually, my order was even bigger than that because I had a credit. Stampin' Up! gives us a credit um, every quarter for our sales. So if you, they, it's like, I don't even know. I want to say mine is like 2% maybe of all my sales. I get a credit back to purchase things. So <clears throat> I forgot about that till I went in there to order. So I used that money too. So actually, I spent quite a bit more than... I should have. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna stamp this um, once on each one right in the middle. And this is um, soft succulent. So this just goes right in the middle of each one. And you really do not have to be that careful. I mean, these do line up, but I've done it all different ways and it really does not matter if it's straight or not. So we're gonna let that sit for a second. We're gonna do the inside, which is just the little leafy part. 
So I'm just gonna put some of these leaves right in here and stamp it like three times. So I love doing three generations of stamping. So you just stamp one, two, three, so you get dark, medium, light. So that's the inside of each car. So we're done with that one and we're done with that one. So now we're gonna take the um, soft suede. So the soft suede is gonna be our little twigs on here. And I did this in all different colors. I tried it with um, Evening Evergreen. I tried it with Shaded Spruce. I tried it with Crumb Cake. And I decided that I liked the soft suede the best. So that's the reason I picked that color. So we've got this right on top. You can try and line it up if you want to, but it really doesn't matter. Um, the easiest way is to kind of look at that center hole there and look at this center hole and try to line up those pieces like there's a pointy part here. So that's kind of where it goes, but it really doesn't matter. Because it comes out pretty good each time, whether you line it up or not. So that one, I didn't even try to line it up, and I just stuck it on there, and it just went fine. So you really do not have to be very careful. Unless you're going to cut it out. If you're going to die cut it, you might want to be a little bit more careful than that. But it's not, like, super hard. All right, so that's that. Then we're going to go back and do our cherry cobbler. So that was soft suede. So we used soft succulent and soft suede. Now we're going to use cherry cobbler. So the cherry cobbler is going to be, I should have done like 10 of these. These are like so easy. Hardest part is going to be just um, gluing all the pieces together. All right, so Merry Christmas goes in the middle of each one. And hopefully I'll get that straight. And then I'm going to take our little berries. So we've got three little berries and we're going to put them on here six times. So I'm just going to go around about every inch or so and put the berries, super easy. And you can kind of twist it if you want, but it doesn't really matter. This is like one of the easiest cards ever to make. And if you haven't done your Christmas cards yet, this would be an easy one for you if you have this set already. Because it takes no time at all. The hardest part is cutting all the paper. All right, so that's it for stamping, and then I'm gonna sponge. So I've got my blending brush, and this is Sahara Sand. You can use Crumb Cake or Sahara Sand. Um, let me read some comments again. Oh, I forgot to go slow. I just realized I'm going so fast. <laughs> and I'm not keeping it straight either. <laughs> Sorry, Starla. <laughs> See, I just get in my zone and I totally forget. So let me... Let me put these out straight so she can take a picture. And then I'll put this straight here too. So that's, so Starla, take a screenshot of that one. And then we'll take a screenshot of the other ones. So here's a screenshot of this too, if you want to. Take one of that. So that's the inside. Sorry, I did not go slow enough. I know, I totally forget. I just get on this roll. All right, so that's done, that's done. And now we're gonna sponge. So we've got um, Sahara sand. So I'm just gonna go down the edge. This is called flecking. We used to have a sponge to do this. But now we got the blending brush. And if you have your new mini catalog, you see there are mini brushes in there. So now we've got small ones. Look, mine got a little dented here. I don't know what happened to it. So you're just gonna do that around the edges and that's gonna give you that vintage-y look. And then we'll do the next one. Hope this is not making it like blurry when I do that because I go so fast that it's focusing. I tried to turn the autofocus off on my camera, but I don't know if it's working or not. All right, there we go. 
Oh, I meant to tell you guys the other day. So I found this thing on Amazon that I absolutely love. It's called a maternity body pillow. So I was just like scrolling through Amazon because it was like Black Friday and Cyber Monday and all that stuff. And I bought a few things. I also bought this thing as um, I see all these little infomercials on Facebook and stuff for it. So it's like a massage tool that you put on your stomach and your thighs and everything. And it's supposed to like shake all the fat out. So I'm going to let you know if it works. Um, it's like called a body massager to get rid of cellulite. So you're just supposed to use it for like uh, 30 minutes. And it's going to just shake all the fat cells out of your body. And then you are skinny. So I'll let you know if it works. It was only like $40. So we're going to see. All right. So that looks pretty good. So now we're done. We just got to put it together. And then the other thing I bought was that maternity pillow, which, oh my gosh, it is to die for. So... It's a, a pillow and it's shaped kind of like a U and then it, it almost is like an oval. So it's got, um, let me draw you a picture. So it goes like up here like this and then down here. So this is where your head is. And then, so this is one side of your body. Actually, it's this is backwards. Well, you could flip it over, it doesn't matter. So it has this, this is like five feet long and this is five feet long. And then it's got this that you can, so when you lay on your side and you can flip it either way, when you lay on your side, you can wrap your arm around one side. And then this is where your leg, like your knee goes over this thing right here. And so it totally just wraps around your body like a big hug and you just lay in the middle. And then you can also like cross it and do all these different positions with it to sit up if you want to sit up in bed and stuff. It's like the greatest thing I've ever seen. I love it. So I've slept with it for about a week now and I absolutely love it. It's like the greatest thing I've ever bought. Love it, love it, love it. So it's a good thing I'm single because it takes up half the bed. So if you're married, I'm not sure it would work. <laughs> It literally takes up half the bed because it's kind of big. All right, so this is our inside. Let me try and keep it straight. So there's one. So I did put the link in my description box under the video. If any of you guys want to check it out and see what it looks like, I love it. And you know, I have an adjustable bed, so it makes that good too. Because you can kind of lay on it, then lift the back of the bed up. And it just is like so comfortable. The first day I got it, I had to take a nap with it. It's almost like having somebody spoon in you, but it's just like a pillow doing it. So <sighs> anyway, that's my excitement. I did some shopping. All right, so we put all those on. Then we're gonna put this together. So these pieces go all on the soft suede. So we've got this one first, and this has the gold on the back. I hate to cover that gold up, but I like the other side better for this card. So put that right down at the bottom. And then you're going to put the red on top of that. And this is Cherry Cobbler. And that's going to go right on top. So I'm just butting it up right next to it. And if your paper is just slightly a sliver off, which mine always seems to be, you can just trim this real quick. And then even it out. So there you go. All right, so you're just gonna do that to each one. So we've got that one done. Then we're gonna go to the next one. And then I'm gonna tell you my joke in just a second. This is a funny one. Somebody sent it to me. I've been getting a lot of jokes um, from you guys lately. So thanks for everybody sending jokes. I watched this guy 
I think I've told you about him. His name is Big Duke. He's on um, Face. No, he's on YouTube. And he just is a, like a joker, but a lot of times his are kind of like X-rated, so I can't tell them, but he has some funny jokes. But he's really funny. All right, so there's two. I don't know how I get a sliver off on every single one of them. All right, last one. We definitely could have made a few more of these because these are so easy. Oops. This is why I like the green glue because the green glue gives you like an extra 30 seconds to move your paper in case you put it down wrong. Some people don't like it because they say it's too messy, but I hardly ever get it on my finger, so I don't think it is, but maybe it just takes practice. Oops. Okay, so there we go. So we got all three of those done. Now we're gonna glue these together. Let me get all my trash out of the way. All right, so for this one, now this was just a scrap that I had in my um, scrap bag. So I was gonna at first cut a piece to three by three to go around this, because this is two and three quarters by two and three quarters. But I liked it better just having that pop of color and not like the whole entire thing. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of glue here not up to the edge, but leaving a little bit of room all the way around. So it's just gonna be behind the um, left side. And then go to the next one. And I'm putting the glue on the green part because I'm afraid I would get it too much on that, that one if I did it. So I'm just making sure I'm not going next to the edge because I just want this much here. And then just hold it for a second. And then one more. And then we're gonna put dimensionals on the back of that. So I was gonna get up <laughs> early this morning and go get my fasting blood work done because I need prescription refills and stuff. But after I got up at three o'clock and stayed up till like four o'clock and then I went back to sleep, I was like, I'm not getting back up at six o'clock to go be the first one in line at the doctor. Cause I go to my, uh, where I work at the urgent care center and you have to get there early, early cause a line starts forming at like 7.30. Okay, so these three are gonna get dimensionals. So I need to cut some of these around the edge. I swear I find these everywhere in my house, like all over the place, in places you would least expect them. And make sure you cut the edge ones. You don't want to waste them and throw them away. They're just as good as the other ones. Let me read some comments real quick. Um, let's see. Don't think it's retiring yet. Are you making crack candy? I sure am. I am gonna make it actually probably Sunday or Monday. Well, probably Sunday. So Spice Girl is talking about my crack candy. Um, it is white chocolate and peanut butter. So you take white chocolate, um, like the Melty Wilton melts that you get the white ones and you can get them at Walmart or used to get them at Michael's but now Michael sells a different brand so they're not the Wilton but I, you can still use them too um, you don't want to use white chocolate chips they don't work very good so you get white chocolate melts and melt it in the microwave like you know 30 seconds and 30 seconds and keep stirring it and I hate it when that happens and you get some stuff together and then after it's totally melted, then you pour in, I mean not pour, you just take a scoop, a big scoop of peanut butter, put it in there, stir it up, and then you get a big giant bowl of Rice Krispies, peanuts, and marshmallows, and you pour that white chocolate and peanut butter mixture over it, stir it up, and put it on wax paper. And that is called crack candy, or crack Krispies. 
but the reason it is called that is because it's so good you never want to stop eating it so it is very addictive and I make it every year I've made it every year for the past like 30 years and given it out as Christmas gifts so um, I have to make it before Thursday because I've got my last group of classes come in this uh, next week and the week after and then I'll be done for the rest of the month so I got enough to make like three big batches of it but it's so good and it's so easy the hardest part is just that you have to go fast because it will start to harden back up if you probably take more than like 20 or 30 minutes it'll start and it also depends on the temperature in your house I keep my house pretty cold so it starts to harden back up pretty quick all right and then these go all on the this one so we're just going to turn these over glue all of them down and if you want the exact measurements of that i can try and write it down and give it to you so you can go do a screenshot next time um but it's really, really easy. Let's see, Jan says, please do let us know, I need something bad. What do you need? Um, hold on. <laughs> I liked the mini catalog, I'm gonna search for paper. How do you know how to do all what Lisa needs? Oh, oh, Spice Girl's asking Starla, how does she know what I need for her to do? Um, yeah, Starla just volunteered. She's awesome. Because I told her one day, I was like, I don't know how to do, um, like PDF things, you know, for tutorials. And she was doing them all for my videos anyway. And I was like, oh my gosh, could you do it for me? <laughs> so she said she would. So Starla is awesome. Because it would take me all day to type up some directions for this. So everybody say thank you to Starla <laughs> for doing the directions. All right, so this is the last one and then we gotta do the ribbon. And then I'll tell you my joke. All right, so here are the three cards. Then we're gonna do both. So I did two ahead of time already. And then I'm gonna do one for you in person. So I've got my linen thread. This one's almost empty. But I love it when it gets to the very end because it's really curly. So that makes your bows like really pretty. So what you're gonna do is just, I kind of pre-measure what my bow is gonna look like. So I take it and just make, whoops, a loop and then a loop and then a tail and then make it just a little bit longer. And I have a double bow, so I just am gonna double it. So we'll cut. And then just cut that in half. So I don't know how long that is. Probably I would say eight or nine inches maybe for two pieces. Um, and then you're just gonna tie it just like you tie your shoes. So make a loop. My fingers are so fat, they never work very good. And then just loop it around and put it, pull it through. And then you just hold that knot right there in the middle and pull it on each side and until you get your bow to be the size that you want. And this one, my tails came out crooked. So one tail is shorter than the other. So we're just gonna have to trim one side. Okay, so there we go. All right, so we've got, <laughs> this one's going a little wonky here. All right, so then we're gonna put those on with glue dots. So I told, I can't remember who it was that told me they knew the owner of the glue dot place. I told some of my friends about that, that they are, they might make glue dots back the way they used to like this, because this is an old roll where they're still actually on the roll. And some of you guys said you actually rewrap your glue dots so that they're back the way they used to be. 
I never ever in a million years thought about doing that, which was brilliant, although it probably takes a while. But I hate having the glue dots on this paper because when they're the other way around and you have the glue dot on the paper instead of on the roll, they're so much harder to get off. So it's so much easier to have it actually on the roll itself. So I don't know why they ever changed that. All right, so there we go. All of our bows. I got this one wonky too. Okay, there we go. That one's a little bit crooked. All right, so now what we need is some shimmer. So we've got Wink of Stella. So you get your Wink of Stella and then you get something to hit it on. So we're gonna just grab something. I'm gonna use my take your pick tool. So we're just gonna go like this and you just hit it on here like you're playing the drums or something, you know, like that. So you're just gonna hit it and it's gonna make sparkles all over your paper. And maybe you could see that. I don't know, I'll hold it up in just a minute. It's really, really pretty. And if it's yours, it's not coming out very good, just give it a little squeeze and then try it again. But this one's coming out pretty good. But I'm kind of just really letting it loose in this one. I'm not like going like this. This is what most of my customers, they just want to do this really hard and hit it. But you got to like let it, let your wrist kind of go limp. Like, you know, like you're just hitting it. And the more you hit it, the more sparkle you get. So Stella has been a very bad girl. getting an extra spanking today. All right, I'm gonna hold this up so you can see how beautiful it is. Can you see all that sparkle on there? It's just gorgeous. I can see it. So hopefully you can see it too. I'm trying to tilt it in the light and let it be all sparkling. All right, I've got a lot of comments to read. Um, let's see. Tutorials, etc. I know. I wish I could, see I wish I could do what Starla does. Then um I would do some of those tutorials like other demonstrator tutorials like other demonstrators do. Um let's see. I don't know why my um Scrolling thing will get stuck like on a spot. Robin says, I'll have to try to make crack candy. It sounds awesome. I have a lot of sweet tooth friends who would love it. Oh my gosh. I've never met anyone who did not like it except for my ex-husband. He's the only person he doesn't like peanut butter and chocolate together. But it is so good. It kind of is like a Reese's cup a little bit, but it's just a really good combination of uh, everything. Did, did anybody see my post on, um, oh, Starla, you made my crack last year and it was a hit. Good. Did anybody see my post on Facebook today about um, the slippers that I'm making for Christmas for everybody? It was really, really funny. <laughs> it was a joke, but if you haven't seen it, go to my Facebook page and look. It's really funny. So you make these slippers with maxi pads. <laughs> I stole it from somebody else's website. And uh, I took a picture and put it on there. All right, so here's my joke. You ready? This is a short one. All right, 80-year-old Bessie bursts into the rec room at the retirement home. She holds her clenched fist in the air and says, anyone who can guess what's in my hand can have sex with me tonight. An elderly gentleman in the rear shouts out, an elephant? Bessie thinks for a minute and says, close enough. <laughs> I thought that was really funny. <laughs> if you're offended, I'm sorry. <laughs> I almost didn't tell it, but I thought it was so funny, so I had to tell it. All right, you guys, that's it for tonight. 
So we got done pretty quick with all my talking and everything. All right, so three um, vintage, old-fashioned looking Christmas cards using the cottage wreath. And um, this is the card kit. So if you order $50 or more for the next two weeks using the host code, then you will get this card kit in the mail. And if your order is over $100, you'll also get a pack of rhinestones to go with it. And I'll bring them next time I forgot. So, um, you guys, thanks for joining me tonight. And um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Hopefully, you'll go make some of these yourself. And um, thanks for all the conversation. And if you want, I'll bring the crack recipe with me next time. And, oh, Janice says, what I learned on Lisa's channel how to spank Stella and how to make crack candy. <laughs> oh yeah and how to make cords <laughs> that's so funny <laughs> Jan says I think um she needs the thing that shakes the fat off of you <laughs> oh Spice Girl loved the crack last year too and everybody in the RV resort that got some loved it Screenshot of the recipe. Okay, I will try to remember to bring it next time. It's really easy. Only five ingredients. Um, let's see. Natural color twine. Yeah, it's just the linen thread, the regular linen thread that's in the catalog. And um, No, it's not the gray one. It's the regular one. <coughs> it's the um, just regular. It's like crumb cake color, I think worse the hair scene. I don't know what color it is, but it's just linen thread. It's not the one that comes in the pack of all the different colors. Um, let's see. All right. I think I got all the messages and I'll bring the recipe and the rhinestones next time for you. You guys have a great next couple days until I see you Saturday night for date night and take care everybody. Stay warm if you're in a cold place like me. Or if you're Debbie, you can just lay out in your bathing suit all day, <laughs> enjoying that sunshine. All right.